Hey y'all, morning. We're up at the top of the mountain here. Actually, actually I'm at the top of the parking uh, structure, but overlooking kind of the highway. And uh, I don't know, I thought the lighting looked cool up here. Look at that sky. It's Joel Pilka with No Booze 30. Positive life company, crushing life, I hope. Doing the best I can. Now, I wanted to come on here real quick and just say this. Look, a lot of people will say, why are you doing it? Or why would I do that? Why would I take 30 days off? And the question should be is, why wouldn't you? I think the question should always be, why wouldn't I? You know, if you're running out of the house and and you're thinking, well, should I bring my wallet? I'm just going for a quick run. Are you going to try to list the reasons on why you should bring your wallet and try to convince yourself? No, it's why wouldn't I bring my wallet? Because all of those times you run out, next thing you know, you, you you run into a buddy who wants to go to the coffee shop and you don't have your wallet or your phone or whatever it is you pay with these days. Same thing with one of these programs. Why wouldn't you try it? Why wouldn't you take 30 days off? Because it's hard? Because you're worried what people will say? Because you're worried what you will do, actually. Scott, thank you, Scott Doherty, sent me an email the other day. Sorry to call you out. He was saying, hey, when he did this a while back, he found that everything he did revolved around booze. Everywhere you went, you go to the restaurant, you go to the bar, you go to bowling league. You didn't say bowling. You know, you go to bowling, you're in a dart league, you... You go golfing, whatever it is. Even when you get done with with a workout, people reward themselves with alcohol. That's okay. It's part of it. I get it. Again, I'm not demeaning it. I'm not saying it's horrible or bad. I'm not saying you have to quit forever. That's not what this is about. It's about taking 30 days off, taking stock, maybe saving a few hundred bucks. Ah, Shit, think of that. Let's say you go out once a week. You spend 50 bucks. That's $200 a month. Let's say you, you buy one bottle of wine a week at $25 a piece or whatever you're into. That's another $100. So you're at $300 in one month that you would save by not drinking booze. Sounds like a no-brainer to me. So if you're asking yourself, like, why would I do that? There's plenty of reasons. But then you have to convince yourself. You have to say, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I take 30 days off? Why wouldn't I take a break? Why wouldn't I save some money? Why, why wouldn't I do that to help myself? Even if alcohol is not a problem for you, it's fine. It's not about it being a problem, guys, girls. It's about removing this one thing from our life that can be a detriment, that can slow us down, that does cost money, that does get in the way at times of you know connecting with people, sleeping in late, feeling crappy and anxious and hungover and tired and achy. And just eliminating it for 30 days. Again, even if you drink one or two days a week or one day a week or you buy, or you buy one bottle of wine a week, it's still 100 bucks to 200 bucks to 300 bucks to 500 bucks that you could save. So, hey, join us. I'm not going to let you up. This is a long-term deal. We're not giving up here. We're going to push out. We're going to try to help some people along the way. We're going to have some fun. I'll tell you what, you're going to find a lot of cool things in this program. It's not just about not drinking. It's about personal development. It's about crushing your life. It's about having some fun, connecting to people you love, and getting back to, to getting what your passions are and having, some, having a good time. Hope you all have a great day. We'll see you next time. No booze.